Hey everyone, Daniel here from Blue Ridge Pipes, and today we are going to go through and drill out a pipe. So this is a stem to a Peterson 999, the um, 2022 St. Patrick's Day pipes. These things are gorgeous, they're well made. I'm really impressed with this line. However, like most factory pipes, the airway in the stem does not actually line up um, size-wise with the drilling in the shank. Something that's going to cause a lot of gurgling is when this does not line up with the drilling in this. Having that con massive constriction in your airway, it's going to create condensation. You're going to end up just drinking your tobacco instead of smoking it. And, so to be able to do this, one, you have to be able to have the tools to straighten out your stem. This was once bent. Now it's obviously not. The long and short of it is you apply heat, but not to the point where you're blistering the stem or anything like that until it starts straightening out. And then you cool it once it's actually straight. There we go. You can see that you can easily see through this. But the drill bit you are going to want to use is this right here. This is a 5 32nd inch tapered drill bit. You notice that this tip of that does not come to a sharp point. Well, I mean, it does come to a sharp point, but it, it gradually tapers to that sharp point. Next up, take a sawzall blade, use a Dremel and cut it so you have this. This is going to be essentially what cuts out your V-slot. Lastly, you're going to need a jeweler's file. This is a sixteenth of an inch round jeweler's file. You're going to want to use that. Also something that you might want to use, um, not necessarily necessary, but I definitely recommend it. Just one of these little drill bits here. That is going to go right there. It's going to help just make the airflow just a little bit easier if something's not fully lining up exactly. A couple other tools that you might find helpful are a standard 5 32nd inch drill bit with a hex base so that you can use it in a screwdriver. This will really help start your hole, especially if you have a normal um, tenon instead of an army mount because those can sometimes crack when you're drilling them out and just starting it by hand will definitely help with that. Also a T-handle. This is a well-used one that actually is slightly bent. Um, but this is going to help you do things by hand if you're using vulcanite because vulcanite stems, it's a softer material and it can crack. So can acrylic, but yeah. So with a normal tenon mortise system, the uh, tenon is going to be a lot thinner than it is on an army mount. And so in those cases, what I want to do is I want to take my normal drill bit and literally just start my hole. Well, the hole's already been started, but start drilling it out. Just keep it nice and even. And you're going to want to go a little deeper than the tenon is itself in those cases. That way, when you start drilling, you don't end up accidentally causing your tenon to crack, and that's going to be a whole different issue. Now, once you have your uh, tenon drilled out, what you're going to want to do is take your tapered drill bit and advance it just very slowly all the way up to about an inch from the opening of the button. So in this case, it's an acrylic stem. I'm comfortable using a drill. If this was vulcanite, I would use that T-handle instead. Acrylic, it works better at a higher speed, but you have to go very slowly and constantly cool down everything as well. So just advance it a little, let things cool down. Now, something I do as I start getting close to where I know that I want to finish is I start using my file and measuring where the drill bit is going to. That'll give me a much more accurate reading on a darker stem that you know isn't see-through. So here that's where it naturally stops. And 
And at this point, I've got that much of the file being able to go in. So I've got a ways to go. And I'm going to go very slowly, maybe a quarter inch at max at a time. Let things cool off, and I just keep repeating until I get to about an inch from the button. Another tip that I do, and this is one of the reasons I use my bathroom for this, is in between every advancement, I dip everything in cold water. I fill up my bathroom sink with cold water, and I just dip the whole thing in, and then I can just use my towel to dry off the outside. Blow any excess water out real quick. This makes sure that everything is cool because heat is the biggest enemy when it comes to drilling any pipe stem, but especially acrylic because they are extremely fragile once they get hot. All right, so I have my stem drilled out. I was able to get it a little closer than an inch. Anything closer than an inch, you really are starting to get into dangerous territory. Some stems are a little thicker and can take that. Some aren't, and I accidentally went slightly too far, but that's okay because it didn't crack. Um, so this is a perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and chamfer the stem. I take this little countersink bit, there we go, and I put it right in the airway. And literally I do this by hand Because going too fast will actually create these little burrs, which you can see they're actually some that have developed inside the airway. Those are fine. Those will come right out. Um, they're not even really there. I just need to blow hard. And yeah, I know I'm a blowhard, but whatever. But there we go. Perfect. No extra flyaways to have to sand off or anything. Next up, we're going to want to go ahead and cut the V-slot. So you take that little modified Sawzall blade, take a Dremel, make it nice and small so it can actually get down into that airway. And this is the most time-consuming part. You are literally going to have to cut out acrylic or vulcanite. With vulcanite, it's pretty quick because it's a softer material. But I don't know how much you can see already at this point, but Come on, let's get in there. That's not going to let me show. But essentially what we're going to end up doing is having the saw blade going in about like this. It's going to end in the main airway, but it's going to go from this to where it spreads all the way out. And I just use that little faux V-slot as my guide as to how wide I want it. Alrighty, so I have one side done, and you can kind of tell... Just glancing in there. Let's try to get this into focus a little better. Now it's time to do the other side. All right, so here you can see that the V slot is pretty much done. The saw blade, let's see if we can get that in. It's basically coming to the edge of the original slot, so I'm going to put that saw blade away. And now we're going to start with the file. Now something that I have seen done is people putting the file into a drill to be able to speed, speed it up. I really don't recommend that because, well, I tried that and my file broke actually and I had to get a new one and they are not cheap. But the filing... You are simply smoothing out any of the rough edges from your cutting with the saw blade. You want to go nice and even and slow. Because the saw blade isn't quite to 1 16th of an inch. But it does give you a very good track to be able to do this. And 
that tightening up thing plus jagged edges is going to cause turbulence and again turbulence is the enemy of a good smoke so it's kind of slow prop going i'm gonna skip ahead but this is the idea you're going to want to do this on both sides of your v-slot all right so at this point we are basically done with cutting the v-slot you can see the edges are a little bit ruffled so i like to take the file and just go along the edges like this just up and down and just kind of even that out gives a little more of a polished look and yeah that's all blade trick is definitely a redneck hat hack I should say, but it works beautifully. There we go. Alrighty, cool. So this is ready to go. I actually put a little bit of a nick right in there, but it's really not bad. And this pipe is just for me. I'm not sitting there trying to sell it, so I'm okay with that. Going to rebend it and put it back on the pipe. And there you have it. It's a pretty simple process. It does take a little bit of time though, but we're talking about something for a lifetime worth of smokes to make sure that you've got a wonderful pipe that smokes as great as it looks.